as the British public turn against the license fee and of course turn to the huge range of media alternatives including right here on YouTube. The BBC themselves forced to admit in a recent story that they face a financial risk over license fee income. Going to bring you all the very latest in this report guys but please support this channel by hitting that subscribe button and the bell and give this video a big thumbs up would really appreciate that now now bbc story itself admitting bbc facing significant uncertainty over its financial future due to change changes in viewing habits and just to remind you i mean the research that's been done on this i really think this you know you've seen the rise of the defund the bbc campaign this to me is one of those issues that across the country is really gaining prominence but those many of those in the establishment still the penny hasn't dropped for them quite yet but let's not forget that ofcom report that i've previously spoken about on this channel that got pretty much ignored found that fewer than half of working class brits now say that the bbc provides impartial news it also found that when you ask people do you think the bbc is impartial it finished dead last behind the likes of channel 5 behind the likes of itv behind the likes of sky news and yougov's tracker taken this year found that 52 percent of brits thought the bbc being funded through advertising subscriptions advertising or subscription models versus only 28 percent of brits who now support the license fee the license fee slash taxation including 68 percent of conservative voters who think the bbc should be funded by advert slash subscriptions and 61% of Brits don't think the BBC license fee is good value for money, just 28% do. I highlight all of this, I've previously spoken about, I highlight all of this because you simply will not hear this research be covered or talked about elsewhere. Very bizarre, isn't it? As for this latest development, as of the BBC themselves say, in their report, the BBC faces significant uncertainty over its financial future due to changes in viewing habits, according to a National Audit Office report. It found that in 2019-2020, the BBC generated a total income of $4.94 billion, of which $3.52 billion was public funding from the licence fee. That was £310 million less than the corporation received from the license fee between 2017 and 2018. The quote in this story that falling audience share poses a financial risk as people are less likely to pay the license fee. According to the National Audit Office report, the BBC has seen a notable drop in audience viewing while its income from the license fee has also declined, saying that the BBC faces considerable uncertainty about its license fee income and should produce a long-term financial plan as soon as possible. Well, seeing as they still have £100 million to blow on this diversity fund they've talked about, surely the way forward is this. People that want the BBC, people that use the BBC can pay for it. Those who have absolutely no interest in its output shouldn't have to pay for it. Surely that is the model we should be looking at in 2021. As I say, YouGov's polling from this year shows you that a majority, 52% now, of Brits think the BBC should be funded by advertising slash subscription model. The BBC licence fee does not have great public support in this country. Will we see the government do anything radical on this? We'll have to wait and see. But it seems to me, yet again, as this report highlights, that the status quo is completely unsustainable. Let me know what you make of this, guys. As ever, if you've enjoyed this report, do give this video a big thumbs up. That really helps me out. And hit the subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss the next video. And of course, as ever, thanks for watching.